Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session the Friday, the 10th of August 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Singler Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesingler.com. Download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so basically the uh, the actual summation today really was the concess, uh, concern regarding the contagion of uh, the uh, Turkish uh, onslaught, basically Mr. Trump's so-called uh, doubling down in terms of tariffs and uh, and uh, obviously uh, sanctions as well on the uh, Turkish economy, given the fact that they have their pastor. Apparently he's been accused of being a spy and creating, uh, uh, obviously, uh, a lot of uncertainty and stability in Turkey. And obviously he's been accused uh, and he's potentially even guilty of uh, of triggering a coup with uh, with potential Gulen who's hiding out in uh, in America at the moment. So situation doesn't bode well. Mr. Trump obviously is taking that personally, and he seems to be punishing a whole country for one individual pastor's uh, isolated incident. Really, it's it's, it's a strange uh, phenomenon. But again, we all know Mr. Trump isn't uh, mentally uh, obviously uh, sound. Either way, that's the status quo. Our, our, as traders, we're trying to react to it, and uh, the, obviously the markets are risk off with a lot of the uh, European banks now limit down, given their exposure to uh, Italy's potential debt, given the fact that the currency has almost uh, obviously dropped 20% in a day today, and obviously down almost 50 60% for the year thus far. Okay, so again, let's see what the uh, technical picture is, given the fact that that really is the backdrop. Other than that, there was nothing really. There was Japanese GDP numbers overnight, which came in slightly weaker on a year-on-year uh, -year basis, but on a... Uh, quarter and quarter basis it certainly seems like it potentially beat there okay uh, in terms of french data industrial data that came in str stronger than expected italian uh, trade balance came in stronger uk gdp numbers uh, overall they were stronger overall uh, if you look into industrial manufacturing as well so uh, again certainly came in stronger also the, the trade balance numbers as well uh, in terms of us cpi data coming in stronger than expected obviously that's helping the dollar dollar certainly appreciating on that basis Okay, now in terms of the markets, again, like I said, technical picture, German DAX, as you can see, 60-minute chart, gap lower from 12,700 down to uh, 12,400 down quite substantially. is holding that support around the 12,410. Let's see if it continues to hold. Daily chart as well. Uh, let's just bring that up for you. Daily chart, giving you an insight. Again, potentially uh, holding that support here. Next potential level is that gap fill at 12,320. Then you've got 12,240 as well. So watch out below in terms of the German markets. French CAC. Uh, certainly flushing again a daily chart potentially closing that gap below as you can see here uh, around the 5380 zone okay uh, again you've got support below here around the 5350 as well so certainly gapping lower uh, 10 minute chart certainly gives you a better understanding as you can see here we've got lower from 5500 we've hit a pivot lower 5390 before we started to reverse potentially in terms of european stocks or euro stocks again that certainly is flush quite hard the pivot low being around the 5413 level today Okay, 10 minute charts you can see flushed quite substantially, and the daily chart certainly uh, obviously moving lower as well. Now, you do have key support here, which is held at 52420. Uh, if that fails, and the next gap is seen at 3370 now, or so I say 3420, and you got a next gap at 3370, then eventually that's uh, historical support at 3340. If the obviously if the concerns increase in terms of the, uh, the actual FTSE 100, now again that was flush given the HS formation. Mr. Boris Johnson's comments as well. Uh, again, this guy's an idiot. Uh, I've got no idea how he even uh, possibly even entertain the idea of being the PM of the UK. If that were to happen, it would have been absolutely disastrous. I mean, probably more disastrous than Trump. Either way, that's the status quo. We close the gap below at uh, 7660. And ever since then, we've certainly been holding. Okay, a resistance seen at 7675, and then obviously you've got multiple resistance above the key one being 7710. 60 minute chart certainly depicts it better as well, given the fact that we've got previous resistance here holding support for now. Daily chart again, we rejected that 7707800 uh, resistance on the FTSE 100 at the back of Turkish fears. So let's see if that continues. Okay, that's the status quo, then, folks. So, really, it's a risk off given Turkey. Now, let's see if that uh, continues and that's a uh, concern. Uh, remains given the fact that the S&P 500 it'll be interesting to see how the US equities are. so far they've been immune to any potential real sell-off although obviously uh, S&P was flush today uh, but overall the Nasdaq certainly is doing well uh, either way we'll, we'll continue to uh, observe the reaction uh, thus far please be sure to visit uh, Trade Signal Signals and market updates uh, from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and download the latest app goodbye now